Introduction to Death Valley Days. Step back in time to the rugged and untamed American West with the timeless TV series Death Valley Days. Premiering in 1952, this anthology-style show captivated audiences for an astounding two decades, immersing viewers in thrilling tales of adventure, courage, and the indomitable human spirit. What made Death Valley Days such a resounding success? One of the primary reasons lies in its ability to bring to life the extraordinary stories of pioneers, prospectors, and trailblazers who braved the harsh landscapes of Death Valley and beyond. The show's ability to transport viewers to a bygone era of exploration and resilience struck a chord with audiences of all ages who eagerly tuned in week after week to witness history unfold. One of the factors contributing to the show's popularity was its cast of talented actors and actresses who breathed life into these historical figures. Hosting the show during its early years was the legendary Ronald Reagan, who later went on to become the 40th President of the United States. His charisma and genuine passion for the stories showcased on Death Valley Days undoubtedly added to its appeal. Throughout its run, Death Valley Days also featured appearances by renowned stars of the time, such as Robert Taylor, Dale Robertson, and James Caan. Their performances and the authentic portrayal of characters made each episode an unforgettable experience, further solidifying the show's place in television history. As we take a nostalgic trip down memory lane, we invite you to share your fond memories of Death Valley Days. Did you eagerly gather around the television with your family to witness the latest adventures of brave pioneers? Or perhaps you were inspired by the incredible tales of survival and perseverance. Whatever your cherished recollections, we'd love to hear them. So sit back, relax, and let the captivating stories of Death Valley Days transport you to a time when the West was wild and dreams knew no bounds. Do you have any fond memories about this TV series? Share them with us and relive the magic of Death Valley Days. Step back in time to the nostalgic world of television history with Death Valley Days, an iconic series that debuted in 1952, captivating millions with tales of courage in the untamed frontier. Hosted by Rory Calhoun, the show's popularity soared, prompting a revival in 1963 as Western Star Theater. Calhoun's magnetic storytelling brought the Old West to life, immersing viewers in gritty desert scenes and thrilling showdowns. Western Star Theater became a beloved entertainment beacon, passing on tales of bravery through generations, shaping the collective imagination of a nation. Its legacy endures, inspiring filmmakers and dreamers to rediscover timeless tales of courage that shaped the American spirit. As you journey through television history, remember Western Star Theater's unforgettable experience, where heroes clashed under the scorching sun and the untamed West beckoned with its siren call. It all began with the legendary Death Valley Days of 1952, forever etching the spirit of the Wild West in our hearts. Step back in time to the golden age of captivating TV storytelling. In 1952, Death Valley Days debuted, captivating audiences nationwide with thrilling tales from the American frontier. Blending fact with fiction, it educated and entertained, winning awards and recognition from states, universities, and historical societies. The show's success was fueled by passionate writers, actors, and the production team who poured their hearts into every episode. Week after week, viewers were treated to rugged landscapes, daring adventures, and the indomitable human spirit. Its impact on popular culture and historical representation endures. Death Valley Days set a standard for authenticity, inspiring future historical dramas. It remains a timeless journey into America's past, celebrating its triumphs and tribulations. In conclusion, the honors bestowed upon Death Valley Days were well-deserved. It wasn't just a TV show, it was an educational experience, leaving an indelible mark on its audience. Long live the unforgettable legacy of Death Valley Days. Step back in time to the golden age of television with the iconic series Death Valley Days. Debuted in 1952, it captivated audiences for 18 seasons, evolving from black and white to technicolor, adding historical significance. Set in the untamed Wild West, it brought cowboys, pioneers, outlaws, and adventurers to life. 
The shift to Technicolor enriched the series, showcasing the West's majesty. Filmed on location in Utah, landscapes became integral characters, immersing viewers. The show embraced innovation, exploring indoor sets, maintaining its freshness. Throughout its run, it weaved tales of bravery, love, and sacrifice, spotlighting heroes of the American frontier. Decades later, its impact endures, a testament to storytelling's power and the allure of the Wild West. Whether in black and white or technicolor, Death Valley Days promises an unforgettable journey through time, appreciating pioneers who forged paths in the wilderness. With its legacy secured, we bid farewell to this legendary series, forever etched in television history. In the early 1950s, Death Valley Days emerged as a captivating show, leaving an indelible mark on TV history. Set against the American frontier, it held a fascinating connection with the Living Bible, sharing a musical score that enriched both series. The captivating music transcended time, bridging the Wild West and biblical stories. Actor Stanley Andrews further intertwined the shows with his presence. The convergence of these distinct worlds, united by music, and an actor is astonishing. Decades later, Death Valley Day's allure endures, inviting viewers to explore untamed stories of courage and dreams. Knowing the link to the Living Bible adds depth to the journey. Death Valley Days stands tall as a testament to storytelling and unexpected connections in Hollywood's creative depths. Its legacy lives on in the hearts of viewers in the intertwined tales of the Old West and the biblical past. The music score remains a delightful enigma, sparking admiration for the artistry behind these timeless classics. So, marvel at the serendipity that brought them together and appreciate the unexpected harmonies that emerge from unlikely places in the world of television. In the vast American West, the TV series Death Valley Days captivated viewers with frontier spirit. Debuting in 1952, it celebrated courage and resilience, transporting audiences to a world of cowboys and pioneers. U.S. Borax and Chemical Corps support earned a special trustees award in 1970, linking corporate enterprise and cultural heritage. The show's vivid storytelling and human drama united generations worldwide, becoming a living encyclopedia of Western lore. It exemplified harmony between corporate vision and preservation, leaving an enduring mark on American TV history. As years passed, the show's legacy strengthened, immortalizing the indomitable spirit of the American West. Let us cherish its impact in the U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation's dedication. Death Valley Days will forever inspire, shining like a beacon upon the enduring legacy of the frontier. Death Valley Days, a cherished gem in television history, captivated audiences with captivating tales of the Wild West since its 1952 premiere. Among the iconic hosts, Ronald Reagan stands out. His tenure from 1964 to 1965 became a turning point, transitioning him from acting to politics. Reagan's presence and storytelling prowess left a lasting impression foreshadowing his future political influence. As the show ended, Reagan embarked on a transformative political journey, eventually becoming the 40th President of the United States. His presidency shaped history, reflecting the spirit of the Old West. The parallel between Reagan's pursuits and the adventurous Wild West serves as a testament to determination. Ronald Reagan's legacy endures, not just as a host but as a trailblazing leader. His journey from the Wild West to politics inspires us all, revealing that life's extraordinary adventures often follow the closing of one chapter and the opening of another.